And breaking news that literally just dropped a few hours ago, the Air Force has awarded aviation firm Jet Zero $235 million to build their first prototype blended body wing design aircraft, sometimes also known as hybrid body aircraft. And that has huge implications for America's cargo aircraft, tankers, and more. A blended body wing design aircraft diverges from the traditional tube fuselage with wings attached approach to aviation design and heads toward a flying wing without quite getting all the way there. A blended body aircraft does have a distinct fuselage and wings, they're just blended together in such a way that it's tough to tell where one ends and the next begins. According to the Air Force, these designs allow for about a 30% reduction in aerodynamic drag while also increasing lift. Now what that basically means is that the aircraft doesn't have to work as hard to do its job, and that can allow for greater range, greater speed, greater payload capabilities, greater loiter time, and maybe even greater stealth. Because I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that a blended body wing design aircraft could adopt stealth characteristics more easily than a traditional tube fuselage with wings attached design. And what that means is that this could be the first step toward the Air Force fielding stealth tanker aircraft, which would be absolutely vital for a late 21st century fight. Not to mention the potential to field stealthy cargo aircraft, which, when thought about in conjunction with something like Rapid Dragon, which is the Air Force's program to launch dozens of palletized cruise missiles off the back of cargo airplanes, we're talking about America's cargo carrying fleet potentially also being a stealthy bomber fleet as well. But let's be honest, that's all counting our chickens before they're hatched, and before anything like that can happen, this prototype needs to work. The Air Force expects Jet Zero's prototype to make its first flight in 2027.